Hello guys, so today I bring you a copy of Viceroy by Mayday Games. We're going to do this unboxing of this game by Yuri Zurovlev. And Viceroy seems to be a really interesting game where you have to build a sort of pyramid of power with these character cards. These are actually some bonus cards that they send me. Uh, so thanks for that. We're going to get into these items later. They also sent some replacement gems and a playmat, um, which was really nice of them for this demonstration. And basically what, what we have to do in Viceroy is build a pyramid of these cards that match together here in these corners and on the bottom and basically get the victory points uh, by uh, fulfilling certain requirements. So let's start unboxing the game and see what's inside. Get this plastic wrapping out of the way and open the box. So as you can see the illustrations on the game are really really interesting, really really well conceived and the rule book also has a very well designed illustration. As you can see the whole game has this medieval uh, fantasy feel. The rule book seems to be very well designed as well very well uh, organized it gives you some information about the development phase player phases and so on the auction phase etc and the different rewards that you get throughout the game and also the end of the game and the scoring that takes place this game is also interesting because it has a solo version so for those of you that like to play solo sometimes well i do and i have actually been playing other games with solo rules for example power grid uh, if you check on board game geek there are people that uh, actually develop solo game rules for other games so it's quite interesting to challenge yourself and see uh, what kind of scores you can get and so on and Viceroy already has a solo play mode out of the box so it's really nice you get some character shields which you're going to use to hide the rewards that you get throughout the game and they also have different illustrations in them you get a total of four Let's set this to the side here. You're going to get some scoring sheets as well, which you can use to score your endgame points and so on. And now let's take a look at the actual tokens. These are really, really nice quality cardboard. They come off really easy from the cardboard as well, so nice cutouts, really good quality components. You're going to get another sheet here, it has some scrolls and swords on them, and here you have some of the victory points, and these are bonus victory points for fulfilling certain conditions. On the bottom of the box you're going to get some plastic Ziploc bags, you get four of them. And you get the actual character cards which is the main focus of the game, you know, the core of the game, as well as some law cards. So we're going to get this box out of the way and we're going to zoom in and show you the actual cards 
one by one. Okay. So let's take a closer look at the cards that are contained within the game. Uh, as you can see, all of them have really, really great illustrations, really nice quality. The paper is somewhat thin, so I would advise you to maybe use some sleeves if you have them. These cards will fit on power grid uh, game card sleeves, more or less. So I have one right here that I used for my power grid cards. And as you can see, they fit quite nicely. You get some extra space on the side, not so much on the top, but still it's enough to keep them inside as long as you don't, you know, as long as you don't try to slide them, they should be fine to use with Viceroy. So let's get this out. Take a look at some of the characters. So we have a Corsair, Emissary, Herbalist, Mentor, Scout, Chancellor, Wanderer, and as you can see, each of them have different colors on the corners and on the bottom. And you actually get, you know, special bonuses if you complete them like this and you form a complete circle. I think you get an extra gem of this color and I don't know if you get anything else. I still have to look closer at the rules. So this is quite an interesting mechanic. And then you see the rewards that you get on the actual cards. So a Paladin, Gunner, Commander, Harvester, Sentry, Arcanist, Butcher, let's get this a little bit to the side, General, Miner, Corporal, Noble. <coughs> what I'm noticing is that <coughs> each and every one of the cards are different characters, so that's really nice, really a lot of var uh, variety in the game. I thought there were like maybe a couple of classes, you know, and then the cards would be repeated. But as you can see, each and every one of them is a single unique character with different types of bonuses and so on. So this should make up for a very interesting and complex game with lots of replayability. So let's continue. Forester, Prince, Captain, Margrave, Hermit. We have a guard, sniper, armor, druid, champion, admiral, inspector. Infiltrator, Artificer, Governor, Sergeant, Saboteur, Brewer, Steeplejack, a Witch, Warlord, Helmsman, Regent, Pathfinder, Warlock, Cutthroat, Poisoner, Enchantress, Veteran, First Mate, Baron, Fencer, Colonel, Mercenary, Chieftain, and then we're going to get to the actual labor law cards. I mean, the first of which is labor. So, as you can see, there's really, really a lot of different characters. I can't wait to try this game and see how they all combine together 
and what kind of synergies they have and so on. So yeah, that's a really, really cool aspect of the game. Let's set this here and just take a look at some of the law cards. So you got labor law, people's quorum, military conscription, border fortification. And these normally have a couple of actions that you can perform. For example, border fortification, you can choose to either place a shield on this car, you can place an infinite gemstone of any color on this car, or take four gemstones of your choice from the reserve. <clears throat> Get stronger royal treasury, secret service, common law marriage, royal favor, bureaucracy, state council, trade permissions, defensive measures, Commonwealth League, reassignments, decree on guilds, new laws, power of science, army reform, referendum, barter policy, mages guild, alchemy guilds, fair trial, inheritance prophecy, uh, property and then the final cards are actually placeholders that you can use while playing each one has a different color gem so these are actually used to define your your play field and so on so as you can see there's four colors of them and you use them in the middle of the basically the play field to to use as placeholders but with the play mat that they sent this won't be necessary so let's just take a look at the bonus cards also that were included on the package again thank you very much to Mady Games for uh, sending us these extra items so we can unbox and preview on our video so let's try to get this open as best as possible. These are very well sealed. So we're going to take care of this nice and easy and we'll be right back. So we managed to get these unwrapped and let's take a look at them. They are actually Viceroy cards and as you can see the gems are multicolored so they can combine with any other of them. And more Viceroy cards but these have different illustrations. So we get four Viceroy cards in total and then we get some more law cards which are secret combinations, labor reform, trade agreement, peace treaty and unification policy. So these are the bonus cards as you can see here. And now we're going to get into showing you the actual gems that they sent as a bonus to use instead of the cardboard ones and actually the playmat as well. So this is the playmat that was sent along with the game. Um, as you can see it has space to put the auction cards here and here. You get a marker. <coughs> I think it's probably four turns here. And they also sent this little pink cube, which you can use to move around. Um, so as you can see, these replace the actual cards, but you can still put them here if you want. And then you have space for the law deck here. And you have space for the large deck. 
and a small deck here and as cards come by you will place them here for auctioning so so it's really helpful and of course it makes your gaming experience quite more interesting to use a proper playmat like this so thank you very much for this offer and I advise you all that actually want to play this game you know with top conditions to acquire it as well and we can also take a look at these replacement gems that they sent me so let's open this box up these are actually made by Mayday Games so it, they are 18 millimeter gems and 64 gems are inside 16 emeralds 16 rubies 16 blue diamonds and 16 yellow citrines so wow okay that was pretty messy but let's get them outside so they are really really nice quality gems as you can see they are shaped like actual emeralds you know these citrines have novel shape these are like you know sort of like fasted uh, octagonal ones slightly um, slightly rectangular as well so these blue circular ones and the red ones which are shaped like uh, maybe water drops or something you know, so it's a really nice uh, addition to the game uh, we hope that you enjoy this unboxing and we hope that you enjoy playing Viceroy as much as we're going to enjoy it for sure um, as you can see it's a really really beautiful game so an artwork in itself and um, the game mechanics as far as we've seen uh, from other videos are also very very interesting so if you're looking for a card game you know with this type of uh, construction and so on we really suggest that you give Viceroy a try and uh, that's it we hope that you enjoy this video as much as we enjoy doing it and see you for our next unboxings very very soon take care guys and have fun playing